New allegations against Sean Diddy Combs. An attorney says he represents 120 accusers who've come forward with sexual misconduct allegations. He expects to file civil lawsuits against the rap mogul. A former adult star, disturbing confessions and secret parties that push the boundaries of belief. What really happened behind closed doors in P. Diddy's world? Explosive new claims reveal shocking freak-offs, where P. Diddy allegedly hosted twisted sex parties using power, drugs, and manipulation to control his victims. A former sex slave has come forward with details so disturbing they've left the police reeling. Could this be the final nail in Diddy's coffin or is this just the beginning of an even darker truth? Are these the revelations that will finally bring him down? Scandalous allegations resurface from the shadows. Have you ever wondered what really goes on behind the glitzy facade of celebrity life? Sean Diddy Combs, a name synonymous with success and luxury, now finds himself entangled in a web of shocking allegations. This story begins with Jonathan Audi, an ex-porn star whose claims have sent ripples through the entertainment industry. Adi's allegations, initially dismissed as wild and unfounded, have resurfaced, casting a dark shadow over the music mogul's legacy. But what led to this explosive revelation? Back in 2018, Jonathan Adi was arrested for a dramatic incident at Trump National Doral, Miami. Adi, armed and dangerous, stormed the lobby carrying an American flag and shouting about former President Donald Trump. During a chaotic exchange of gunfire, police subdued him. This wild episode alone would have been enough to capture headlines, but it was what Adi revealed during his subsequent police interrogation that truly shook the media. As Adi languishes in jail, his interrogation video has come back into the limelight. In this video, Adi reiterates his claims, adding even more layers to the controversy. He mentioned that Diddy would orchestrate what he called freak-offs drug-fueled sex parties involving male sex workers and women. Adi's description of these events is eerily similar to the allegations in Diddy's recent indictment. Could this be the smoking gun that ties everything together? During his police interrogation, Adi made explosive claims. He stated that he was forced into sexual activities with Diddy and his ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura. I was like a sex slave, Adi confessed. But what does this mean? And how deep does this rabbit hole go? The media dismissed these claims at the time, but recent events have forced a re-examination of Adi's shocking allegations. He described multiple encounters with Diddy and Cassie, where Diddy allegedly watched and gave instructions. He went on to say, I had like 15 encounters and I heard lots of business and what they would do with Sean. Adi's narrative seemed too fantastical to believe, yet it now resonates eerily with current allegations against Diddy. Cassie Ventura's lawsuit exposes Diddy's sinister secrets. Adi's claims were initially dismissed, but internet sleuths have started connecting the dots. Cassie Ventura's 2023 lawsuit against Diddy adds more fuel to the fire. What dark secrets did she reveal? She accused him of sexual assault and a decade-long cycle of abuse, but how did it all start? And what was hidden behind the glamour? Cassie met Diddy in 2005 when she was just 19, and he was 37. The connection seemed professional at first, but soon it turned into something far more sinister. Under New York's Adult Survivors Act, Cassie's lawsuit exposed a chilling pattern of control and violence. Diddy allegedly controlled every aspect of her life, from her career to her personal records. But that's just the beginning. How deep did his control go? She claims Diddy frequently beat her forcing her into hiding until her bruises healed. But what about the more twisted allegations? Cassie says Diddy forced her to have sex with male sex workers while he watched and recorded. Why didn't she go to the police? Cassie feared that reporting him would only provoke more violence. The lawsuit recounts a terrifying night in 2018 when Cassie tried to leave Diddy for good. During a dinner, she broke up with him, but he later forced his way into her apartment and raped her. Cassie's friend, singer-songwriter Tiffany Red, witnessed some of this abuse, including an incident at Cassie's 29th birthday. Diddy allegedly wanted Cassie to leave her party for sexual encounters with other men. The lawsuit was settled just a day after it was filed. Why the rush? The details remain private, but Diddy's lawyer insisted the settlement was not an admission of guilt. Yet this isn't where the story ends. In May 2024, a video surfaced showing Diddy assaulting Cassie in a hotel hallway in 2016. Did this footage finally expose the truth? The video shows a frantic Cassie trying to escape as Diddy chases her, throws glass vases, and assaults her. How did he react when the footage became public? Diddy posted an emotional apology on Instagram, admitting to seeking therapy and rehab, but was it genuine? Cassie's lawyer dismissed it as a desperate attempt to save face. Cassie's allegations paint a disturbing picture of life under Diddy's control. From giving her drugs to his uncontrollable rage, the fear she lived in is unimaginable. She described freak-offs where he watched her perform sexual acts with sex workers, always involving drugs. Federal prosecutors have also pointed to these freak-offs, supporting their case against Diddy. Is it possible that Adi and Ventura's stories are pieces of the same disturbing puzzle? In the wake of her lawsuit, more women came forward. 
and Diddy's home was raided in March 2024. By September, he was arrested on charges of sex trafficking, racketeering conspiracy, and engaging in prostitution. Is justice finally catching up with him? The indictment reveals a grim narrative of manipulation and exploitation. Diddy is accused of using drugs, financial leverage, and intimidation to coerce women into participating in orchestrated sexual activities. This echoes Adi's claims. According to the indictment, Diddy manipulated women to participate in highly orchestrated performances of sexual activity with male commercial sex workers. It also states that Diddy made arrangements for women and commercial sex workers to fly to his location, ensuring their participation through a mix of coercion, control over their careers, financial support, intimidation, and violence. These chilling details paint a picture of a sinister operation masked by the glamour of celebrity. Cassie's lawsuit detailed a pattern of abuse and manipulation eerily similar to Audie's account. She described Diddy as controlling and violent, alleging that he forced her into degrading sexual situations, often under the influence of drugs. These claims lend credence to Audie's story, suggesting a systematic pattern of exploitation that goes far beyond isolated incidents. Shocking allegations and hidden footage in Diddy's world. Audie alleged that he was asked to turn in video footage related to scandalous events, only for his attorneys to accidentally return it to him. He mentioned, It's possible I could produce a copy, hinting at the existence of damning evidence against the hip-hop mogul. Can you believe that such explosive footage might exist? What secrets could these tapes hold? This statement takes on a chilling significance given the recent federal indictment against Diddy, which details the filming of sexual encounters. The connection between these two accounts becomes harder to ignore. What once seemed like outlandish claims from Adi are now intertwined with serious allegations in the indictment, suggesting that the dark secrets of Diddy's world may be more extensive and troubling than anyone anticipated. Could this be just the beginning of uncovering a much larger scandal? Adi's story, full of dramatic twists and salacious details, is a prime example of how fact and speculation intertwine. His claims have gained new life as more allegations come to light. The mystery surrounding the existence of the videotapes Adi mentioned adds a layer of intrigue. If these tapes exist, what do they show? Could they provide undeniable proof of Diddy's alleged crimes? The speculation surrounding these tapes fuels the narrative, creating a sense of suspense. Internet sleuths and conspiracy theorists pour over every detail, searching for clues that might crack the case wide open. The combination of factual allegations and speculative elements keeps the story in the public eye, ensuring it remains a hot topic of conversation. Adi made a striking assertion when he claimed that his settlement with Sean Diddy Combs was tied to a larger agenda within the entertainment industry. What exactly is this agenda he refers to? He suggested that Diddy's immense fame and success are not merely the result of talent, but are intricately linked to being part of a network that manipulates contracts and influences within the industry. Could it be that Diddy is a key player in a game that goes beyond music? Adi implied that this agenda operates behind the scenes, with powerful figures orchestrating events to maintain their status and control. This perspective casts Diddy in a shadowy light. What other secrets might be hidden beneath the surface of the music world, and how deep does this manipulation run? Are there others involved in this network, and what impact do they have on the artists we know and love? Adi's claims raise unsettling questions about the true nature of Diddy's rise to prominence and suggest that there may be darker forces at play in the entertainment industry. The former adult entertainer's revelation that Diddy allegedly paid him a substantial sum to keep their encounters under wraps raises eyebrows and invites speculation. What kind of secrets were worth such a hefty price tag? Was this merely a financial transaction? Or does it hint at a deeper, more sinister relationship? The claim suggests that Diddy may have gone to great lengths to protect his image, leading one to wonder what else he might be hiding. Why would someone with such fame and success feel the need to silence others? This assertion not only fuels the controversy surrounding Diddy, but also poses unsettling questions about power dynamics within the industry, how many others might have similar stories of hush money, and what implications does this have for the integrity of the music world? The narrative of hidden encounters and paid silence casts a long shadow, suggesting that the facade of celebrity often masks darker realities lurking beneath the surface. On February 26, 2024, a shocking lawsuit was filed by Rodney Lil Rod Jones, a former producer and videographer. Jones's allegations against Diddy are explosive, claiming sexual harassment, drugging, and coercive behavior during the creation of Diddy's love album from September 2022 to November 2023. Seeking $30 million in damages, Jones has unleashed a storm of controversy. Jones alleges that he was groomed to engage in sexual acts at Diddy's command and subjected to constant harassment and threats. Even more chilling, Jones claims Diddy has compromising footage from wild parties, potentially using it to blackmail those involved. Jones's lawsuit goes even deeper, hinting at 
at a broader criminal enterprise, he suggests that Diddy's actions are part of a larger RICO enterprise, hinting at organized criminal activity. This allegation adds a whole new layer of mystery and suspense. What if there's an entire network of abuse and control orchestrated by Diddy? Connecting these dots, a disturbing picture begins to form. Both Jones and Adi alongside Cassie depict Diddy as a manipulative and powerful figure, using threats and coercion to dominate those around him. These explosive revelations not only challenge Diddy's public image, but also demand a closer look at the hidden mechanisms that enable such behavior, unraveling a web of drugs, power, and exploitation. Adi accused the hip-hop industry of operating as a cabal of wealthy individuals who trafficked drugs, including liquid cocaine, via their private jets. Adi's allegations seemed outlandish at first, but the recent arrests and raids on Diddy's property suggest there might be more truth to his claims than initially believed. Adi even mentioned participating in drug use with Diddy and Cassie Ventura, further linking his allegations to the newly uncovered evidence. What exactly went down behind the closed doors of Sean Diddy Combs' opulent mansions? Recent federal raids on his Miami Beach and Los Angeles properties have unearthed a trove of disturbing items that paint a chilling picture. Federal agents swept through Diddy's luxurious homes and uncovered a stash of weapons, including three AR-15S with defaced serial numbers and a drum magazine. But that's not all, they also found a shocking cache of drugs including ketamine, ecstasy and liquid cocaine, and over a thousand bottles of baby oil and lubricant. These supplies allegedly used during the infamous freak-off parties hint at a darker, more twisted side to the hip-hop mogul's lifestyle. The raids are part of a broader federal indictment that charges Diddy with sex trafficking and racketeering, spanning over a decade from 2008 to the present. The indictment alleges that Diddy not only hosted these debauched events, but also used his considerable influence to intimidate and threaten victims and witnesses, brandishing firearms to maintain control. Connecting the dots, it becomes clear that these freak-off parties and the associated illegal activities are not isolated incidents but part of a larger, more sinister pattern. The raids reveal a hidden world of sex, drugs, and power shielded by wealth and celebrity status. Diddy's opulent lifestyle, once seen as the epitome of success, now appears to have a dark underbelly. As the investigation continues, the public is left grappling with the unsettling reality that one of the music industry's most iconic figures may have led a double life filled with exploitation and criminal activities. What other secrets might be hidden within the luxurious walls of Diddy's mansions? Diddy is in a world of trouble, and things just got even darker. After being arrested on shocking sex trafficking and racketeering charges, Diddy was denied bail not once, but twice. Why? The judge believes he poses a serious threat. Could he intimidate witnesses? His lawyers tried to convince the court with a hefty $50 million bond, GPS tracking, and home detention, but it wasn't enough. What does this say about the weight of the evidence against him? Now, Diddy finds himself in the grim surroundings of the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, and the situation has taken a more chilling turn. He's currently on suicide watch. Why would they put him on watch? Reports suggest it's a precaution as he grapples with the shock of his reality. Is his mental state deteriorating, or is it all part of a bigger game? With his plea of not guilty hanging in the air, Diddy's future looks bleaker than ever. Will his team manage to turn the tide, or is he facing a life behind bars? As Diddy sits in the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn awaiting trial, the world watches with bated breath. The charges against him are severe and could lead to a fall from grace for one of the most influential figures in music. What will the trial reveal? Will more secrets come to light? And how will this impact the industry at large? Diddy, who has built an empire on his image of success and sophistication, now faces the prospect of his carefully curated persona unraveling in the most public way possible. The trial promises to be a spectacle, with every detail scrutinized and every revelation potentially more shocking than the last. This scandal raises many questions about the hidden lives of celebrities. How many more stories like Audis are out there waiting to be told? What power dynamics are at play behind the scenes? And most importantly, how can such exploitation be prevented in the future? The entertainment industry, often seen as a glamorous escape from reality, may harbor dark secrets. The power dynamics between influential figures and those they employ or manipulate create an environment ripe for abuse. As this scandal unfolds, it forces a broader conversation about accountability and the systemic issues within the industry. As more details emerge, the walls are closing in on one of music's biggest icons. Will Diddy's legacy survive, or is this the end of an empire built on secrets? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more shocking revelations.